Hollywood. It's Flash Friday. It's caused a little trouble to show. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program on this Flash Friday. Wide open telephones at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Connie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. That's good. They tell me you talk about uh, big, beautiful women. No, I talk like about fat chicks. Uh, first of all, darling, uh, I don't like the term because it assumes that every fat chick is beautiful, and they're not. Well, you know what? You're right. I, I can agree with you on that because I've seen some that really aren't. But I don't fall in that category. What category do you I fall into? I am big and I'm beautiful. How big are you? You know, women don't actually tell that. Darn it. Darn it. But how big are you? Doesn't matter. I've got money. That's what gets you over. That's <laughs> right. right. Yeah, that's what gets you over. There you go. Because you got money. But guys can get over with money. Uh, but, uh, women can't because guys don't care how much money you have if you're fat. Well, yes, they do. Look at <laughs> Queen Latifah. They well, care about her. She got money. Oh, no, no, no. But uh, who, who wants to date her? A whole lot of people. Anybody I mean, successful? The young guys like bones. See, you got to have meat. You know, you you get in the bed with bones. No, no, no. I I you like, like flesh. Fat. I don't like fat. Okay, well, you know what? Bones ain't got no flesh. You can feel the rib cage, uh, darling. Let me tell you something. Let's take a let's take a steak, okay? You take a nice ribeye steak. Mm -hmm. Tastes good, but it's got those big triangles of fat in there, okay? Mm -hmm. I like the meat, but mm -hmm. I cut out the fat. Mm -hmm. You see, meat is fine, fat not fine. Okay, let, okay. Let me tell you something. Okay, now when you have that big triangle steak you are talking about, right, with the fat, without the fat, the meat would not be tender. So you need a little fat. I know, I'm not you sure I want your tender. meat to be tender. I'd like it to well, be firm. I mean, it's like a New York strip steak. Have, it's better to have tenderness and softness than to have a bag of bones. So wait, you're telling me that uh, guys would rather have Queen Fatifa than to have Beyonce? Ugh. What? She's still fat? She got a big ass? I mean, she is she not fat. Size. She is not. No, Beyonce, not fat. Well, why do every man talk about Beyonce? Because she she's hot that. and she's not fat. Yes, she is. She is not fat. Did you see her big behind when she fell off that dog on stage? She's not fat. Her big butt landed on that big But it's not business. fat. She's not yeah. fat. Her butt is not fat. She has a big butt. She is, believe me, you could feel bone on Beyonce if you got close. Did you see that uh, spread on her in Sports Illustrated? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, well, see, a man of your statue would love that, wouldn't you? Hey, Jay-Z loves you it, I'll tell think, you that. But you have to think about something. All fat women are not ugly. Some fat women are beautiful. But but guys don't want fat women. They have beautiful fat women society. are for poor men. That's that's, that's the bottom that's line. Bad. That's not. I've seen it's some, true. I've seen some, some uh, big women with some rich men. They may not be, like, you know, movie stars. Or no, they're, they're, they're not. So what? They want them. They want that bag of bones on their arm. That is not a dime piece. That but the like bottom that. line is, successful men don't want to be with fat chicks. Why not? Tell me why. Because fat chicks look. They they take their clothes. We have to get aroused. You know, you take your clothes off, and you still can get aroused. And there's those rolls of sweaty fat in there. Sometimes it kind of itches in between the rolls. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you funny. It's true. I don't have rolls, boo. They just it's just all proportionate. No, no, dear. You gotta have rolls. 
Now you got If you underneath, I mean, uh, I see you. You got some low. Darling, again, I've got I've got a roll of cash in my pocket. Oh, see, that's yeah, see that's the roll. roll. That's the roll. Women, women, and you got money. Women, that, by the I way, that my roll it. of cash has no sweat at all. Okay, it's completely I dry. I, I see. I like thin men. You like well? Well, why do you like thin men? Why don't you uh, like fat men the way um, you think men should like fat women? Because. Thinness is in when it comes to a man. It has oh, to when it comes to a man, but uh, yeah. we should like fat women. Yeah, I, I said that all fat women. You you put it all in one category. Like no rich man would want to date a fat woman. True. You don't know that just because you don't name know one. That's because they want to. They got like a little image to. Protect. Whatever. Na can you name a rich man with a fat woman? Let me see. Can I? Oprah. Who's the rich man? Well, what Stedman was it? He didn't have no money. And he's not and he's not married either. You know what, Tom, you come to think of it, I can't really think of anything. That's right. right now. And you you could sit all the weekend to think about but this and you're not going to. Say, but don't say that a poor it's a you know, it's a poor man. It's, That's what it is about this. There are actually statistics that show the more you weigh, the lower your husband's income is gonna be, the lower his educational level. Why is that? It just is. That's how it is. Okay. The bottom well, line is know. guys who are poor, guys who are unsuccessful, guys who are stupid, they can't get anything better. Did you say stupid? Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Yes. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. I've dated some well educated men, like a doctor, and I dated. Dated, meaning they showed up at your place at 11 p.m.? What? With a bottle what of Crown I... Royal, huh? Huh? What? Well, I didn't hear you. Did, you. did you ever actually spend time outside of the bedroom with these men? Yeah. Where'd you go? We went out to dinner and to the beach and to bars and to clubs. Ever go on vacation with a guy like that? No, actually, no. Yeah, think about that. I wonder why. <laughs> you sit there and think about that this weekend, will you? Why don't any successful men ever take you away for the weekend, take you on vacations? take you to Italy or France or Spain or anything like that. Yeah, you know, we go out, we go to Bob's Big Boy, hit the salad bar, not very hard. <laughs> yeah, we go to Fat Burger. Sure we do. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Alex on the Tom Likas hey. Show. Yes. Uh, hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great. First of all, I just wanted to say she brought up uh, Queen Latifah. She's a lesbian. Queen Latifah doesn't I, even date guys anymore. Is that official? Yeah, I, my dad actually met her. He was a... Uh, well, that doesn't mean she's out. I mean, I've, I've never heard that. Oh, I, I heard... I don't know. I've heard it from a couple people. I'm going to that, Wikipedia but... right now and looking that up. <laughs> right. well, I haven't anyway, heard I that. I to get your opinion on something. All right. Uh, have you heard of ARN, American Radio Network? They do like a kaleidoscope radio magazine. Are you talking about one of these, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they are, um, uh, it's, it's kind of like they, they sell you time to be on the radio and then they yeah. get your own radio yeah. show? Yeah. Well, basically, yeah. I just got an entry level position in the, with them. I just wanted to get your opinion on them. I don't know the company. So you're familiar with them? I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I believe I know that that is a company that does that. I don't know about the company. Okay, well, uh, yeah, it's just an entry level position where the first couple weeks, depending on, uh, how fast or how slow you go, it's like, a uh, radio training, so I get familiar with the studio and I run like a little 15 minute music show. After the, uh, after I'm done with the training part, I have the option of becoming an independent producer for them, depending on how well or how bad I do. Yeah, and what stations uh, are their shows airing on? Uh, they're going to disclose that later. They have oh, one. they're going to hold on to that until after you've paid your tuition. I see. So they don't want to tell you now what stations. No, no, no. What, well, once I start the training, they're going to let me know what... Uh, oh, what why don't, why don't they tell you that now? Uh, well, they disclose that... Because uh, they've had people before. Aren't you suspicious? Aren't you suspicious why they don't tell you that information? I was, but the the they do charge a fee for the like the, if you become an independent producer. But the fee is so small that it's not even a scam. It's twenty nine dollars a week if I become an independent producer. And, and what what exactly are you more. producing? And where will your content be heard? 
Oh, well, they have a... They'll they tell you a, that later. Radio stations, um, one in Hawaii, one in Los Angeles that gets up to uh, 500,000 500, listeners. Really? Uh, what station is that? Uh, that They didn't disclose that yet. Well, how can you sign a contract to get something you don't know what you're getting? Well, th no, they'll let me know as soon as uh, I start the training program and uh yeah, but, if I do, but if I why do would you want why would you want to yeah. start the con why would you want to start the program without knowing what you're paying for well because basically i've heard from many people uh, including yourself that getting into radio is tough but and no i never i never i know i didn't say getting into radio is tough i said becoming successful in radio is tough right there are radio stations that will pay you to go on the air no, they do pay you to go on the air. You can become an announcer for them if you want to become an employee. But if you don't want to become oh, no, an no, employee... No, 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 no. An employee, they're going to pay you to be on where? It, it can be either in Los Angeles or Hawaii. In or, Los Angeles. Yeah, they have stations in Riverside and... Doing... When you say an announcer, what are you announcing? They have uh, just little small-time music shows or depending on... You know, they have a I don't know. I, you know, I, I know this business really well. I don't know any commercial radio station in Los Angeles that has a series of 15-minute little radio shows. Oh, no, no. It's, it's, not, it's not that. that. That's just a training program, basically, mm. just, to, just to get you familiar with the studio. And you're paying if to you're be trained. I'm sorry, what? You're paying. So, uh, originally, it's a $24 fee each week, right? But because you sell a... They give you the option of But you're paying for something that people not only get for free, you're paying for something that people get paid to do. Well, no. you. In the end, I'm only paying $5 maybe to get trained. And as soon as I No, you're paying $24 a week. Well, you just told me a, that. They have a $5. They pay you $5 per commercial that you advertise on your show. And that basically just brings it down to maybe $5. $5 a, a commercial? You're telling me there's a radio station in Los Angeles with 500,000 listeners where you can get a commercial for $5? No, 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 what no, station no, no, no. is that's, that? I want to advertise the Tom Likas show on there. I'll buy up all their inventory. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's that, I'm just maybe saying it wrong, but that's just a training program. Where it's not even in Los Angeles. Don't so you're getting paid to read stations. commercials that nobody will hear? Basically, yes. But then when, you, when you're finished with the training and you actually either become A, an announcer for them... Why would they pay you to read commercials nobody will hear? <laughs> Even $5. Why would they pay you for that? Well, it's basically just to start training you and getting the experience. Training you to, to accept $5? <laughs> no, that's just... <laughs> you can make up to... When you actually are done being trained, you can actually make up to $500 a show depending on you or make... 10 to 15 dollars an hour at an entry level position for them. When do you get paid 5 dollars to read a commercial? In the training part. When I'm just becoming familiar with the studio and I have a studio director directing me. After that, a studio director. Yes. You know, I work at a very large radio station with more than half a million listeners and Right. We don't we don't have a studio director. Well, that's because you're more than familiar enough to have run the studio by yourself. A studio director is for someone that, according to the company that I'm going to be interested in or working for, right. is a studio director is just for someone that is unfamiliar with it. Basically, like a, if you started like a entry-level law firm position or something, you're going to have someone that trains you to be familiar with the office. I'm assuming that the studio director is somewhat the same thing. Mm. It doesn't really seem like a scam, but... Again, that's why I'm calling you, because so far I've been following everything you've said, and it's been working out. Well, I am looking at the website here for uh, yes. this uh, supposed radio station. Mm -hmm. um, it has a bumper sticker that calls itself 99 Rock. Yeah, I think that's one of their stations. In in It says KCLA-FM. Right. What's the frequency of 99 Rock? Uh, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Let's see. 99.3. What uh, city is that actually in? That's not Los Angeles, is it, uh, Art? It might be Riverside, I think. Riverside. No, yeah. the COLA is in Riverside. K-O-L-A. Uh-huh. Just curious here. Yeah. Let's... I know you're the man to go to, so I went straight to you. Hmm. Let me see here. Interesting. 
Mm -hmm. All right, this is from uh, ConsumerAffairs.com. I'm reading to you right now, the video network. Right. Somebody wrote in, it says, Caroline in Mission Viejo, California, wrote in, said, the American Radio Network places an ad in the employment classifieds for announcers. No experience necessary, promising $12 an hour to $200 per show. They have a, quote, audition and informational meeting and sign people up to be trained, saying they want to help you get a career in broadcasting, either with their radio stations or others. Although the training is free, they, quote, charge a fee to use the studio. Mm -hmm. The way you earn money is by selling ad spots on your shows. Now, this is what this person who wrote this blog is saying. Right. That's basically uh, all I've heard so far. It says here, I'm reading from the blog, the equipment yeah. and training are a joke. And in the end, you will end up paying quite a bit of money and wasting a lot of time. They require three weeks' notice to quit and make you pay weekly fees whether or not you use the studio once you give notice. They say they're not a school, so they don't have to live up to any educational standards. She said, I was able to get out of it without notice or paying the fees, but I had to fight for it. I have a business background, and I know it blah, 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 blah. Bottom line. It's a joke, huh? Well, I don't know what it is. I don't know this company. I'm just look. And the thing is, I don't know enough about this company to comment right. on. It, okay, based I'm, on that blog, would you say it seems like a hoax? What I I don't know about this company, and I'm not, you know, commenting on it will result in a lawsuit. You understand what I'm trying to tell? You? Yeah, I understand. I understand. So let's make a general statement. Mm -hmm. Everything you're doing, you could be doing at a radio station in a small town, and right. getting paid by them to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. You could go to Visalia, California, mm -hmm. get yourself a room at a local boarding house, and get a job at a radio station in Porterville, California, near Visalia, Maybe whatever. You just put in good old time. You got to do that. There's no shortcut around it. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that's that's why I was skeptical and called you, because I've heard many times well, on I've, the show. Well, I've told people, and I'm telling you what I've told them, and you've heard me right. say it, but you've ignored me. Oh, no, no. I have told people you need to move out of L.A. or any big city, and you need to contact radio stations in small towns about uh, whether they have entry-level positions or whether they need people. Right. My, uh, I spent uh, eight weeks at a radio station in Stanton, Virginia. Yep, I've heard many times all your all your experience and all. Uh, you are have you willing it. to do something like that? Yes, if I have, you know, if well, I really, if I really want to, you're gonna live yeah. poor mm -hmm. or broke. No, I mean I'm still in school, so I still have other options. But uh, well, but this is look, there's no shortcut. Right. This That's is how it's done. I know. No, I ain't. Paying, I paying also, anybody, paying anybody to, for your, for the right to work is crazy. Yes, I agree. I mean, I, I'm imagining, what would it be like if I had to rent this studio to do this show? What is that? I, I'd be crazy. Yeah, that's why, that's why I had to go to you, Tom. That's why. Hello? I guess I'm listening to you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I thought I pressed the button. But yeah, Tom, that's why I went straight to you and... You know, I all thank right. you. And once again, when I, uh, a couple of years ago, I had a girlfriend and thought I was all in love. And actually, I started listening to you right then, and then I had to break up with her a few months later because you went on one of your rants about how basically you have a girlfriend if you can't get laid. And it's true. right. <laughs> well, once again, thank you very much, Tom. I'm here uh, to help. Can you take me out with a bong load? Here you go. Tom Likes. Tom Likes. Eight hundred. Five eight hundred. Tom. 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 You gonna flash someone right now? Oh, let me find a headlight. All right. Okay, here's this guy right here in the Ranger. Okay. He's got his headlights on. All right. Right here, Ranger. Look over. I know you're listening. Yeah, but well, we're in delay, so you won't hear. Okay, it. here we go. Here I'm we go. Flashing him. Yeah. He has just been flashed. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephones. Destiny, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How are you? Great. 
Great. Well, well, all I'm calling for is just to say that instead of these women calling and complaining all the time, that maybe they should start to take heed themselves. And um, to all the feminist groups, hey, you know what? Men got to have somewhere to go. Absolutely. Right? Right? Yes. That was it. So I just wanted to say keep doing your thing and keep making men strong. I'll do the best I can, dear. All right. Thank you. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Julie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Julie. A uh, longtime listener, first time caller. Yes. Um, I have a question for you. I recently had a job interview, and I asked if they had a four hundred one k plan. They said no. We have profit sharing, and I honestly don't know what that is. Can you tell me a little more about? What, what is profit sharing? Well, profit sharing is what it says it is, uh, but, but what, what I have found with profit sharing is it can vary wildly from company to company. Some companies are set up, for example, I worked for a radio station one time that had profit sharing. Pardon? I worked for a radio station once that had profit sharing. Okay. The owner of the station was also the general manager. Okay. And he was also the board of directors. Okay. So here's what happened. If the radio station made a big profit, the owner of the station would reward the general manager with a big raise. Uh -huh. That was approximately the amount of the profits. Okay. So on the books, there'd be no profits left to share. So that when this is. guy was paying me $15,000 a year, I said, well, that's not a lot of money. How do I live on this? Well, we also have profit sharing. But well, the reality was the guy never shared any profits because he awarded himself a raise every year equivalent to the profits they earned. Makes sense. Got so it. there was nothing left. So you have to read very carefully. And by the way, profit sharing is not a retirement plan. Okay. It's a, it's kind of a bonus program. All right. You see? So if they don't have a 401k or a 403b, okay. uh, they don't have a retirement plan at all. Got it. So um, if you're looking for a job with a retirement plan, I'd move on. All right. Well, th 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 thank you very much, Tom. I'm here to help you. All right. Take care. Appreciate the call. RJ on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Ah, uh, the ratings last I looked. That's good news, my friend. Well, another thing that's up is the Kings standings. And uh, I know you're a fan. I've met you at the game. Uh, I've actually shared a cocktail with you in the chairman's room. Yep. Um, it was probably last season. Don't know if you remember. It doesn't really matter. But I just want to say, uh, another coming up, and i got to be stoked for them, and I'm sure you are too. And uh, specifically last night, man, there was some serious tail at the game. I don't know if you noticed. I was sitting down in 102, 103, you know, the little chairman walkway uh, section. And, uh, you know, Pro Ops Girl is always a beauty to look at. And uh, there were some seriously other ones. Were you there by any chance? I was there last night. I was in my section. And, uh, you know, when the, when the Kings are winning, more hot chicks show up at the games. I love it. I know. I realize that, too. And I think it is great. And it's, it's you know, it's a win-win. Their team's doing good. We're getting good girls. Oh, Why yeah. Better? Oh, no doubt about it. And we're better than the Ducks now. We're being the Ducks, you know, ahead of the standings. And, well, don't uh, get too excited now. This is a young team. And uh, they've had a good run here. And it's better than any run they had last season. Uh, but it's still very early in the season. And keep in mind also, the main reason the Kings are ahead of the Ducks is because they've played more games than the Ducks. No, no, the Kings have the Ducks have actually played one more than the Kings. Wait a minute. The, oh, the Kings are. I mean, the Ducks have played twelve, and the Kings have played eleven. Is that so? That's so, and uh -huh. doesn't even matter because the Ducks got shut out by Phoenix, one of the worst teams in the league. Oh, no, there's no doubt about the Ducks. But I've said all along this year, the Anaheim Ducks are going to have a very hard time repeating as Stanley Cup champions. For Number one, because every team has had a hard time repeating as Stanley Cup champions. And number two, because they've had significant turnover of players. They have uh, they don't have Timu Solani. Uh, they don't have Niedermann. They don't have uh, Dustin Penner. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. They, there's, a, there's like seven guys gone from last year yeah absolutely all right tom well, i don't want to take up any more time i know it's friday a lot of people want to talk to you and uh but it has been fun being at the king's games the last uh last few games have been spectacular last absolutely. night's game was particularly good because they came from behind and they held the lead which was great absolutely you know they could have actually won that st louis game and it would have been a different story we would have been already better but i think uh i think this season we might see a playoff team 
Uh, they, they, well, this way, they're on the cusp. I don't know necessarily that they'll make the playoffs. I definitely think next year they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah, I agree. And we're, watching, right, we're watching a team that's been built from square one, really. Yeah, true to that. All right, Tom, well, I'm going to take a bong rip right now, so I'd love it if you could take me out with one as well. And, of uh, I course will, I, I can. I'll you next game. There you go, baby. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Tom. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. How many bong loads have you done today? I'm just curious. <laughs> Good catch. Uh, three or four. Where's my head? <laughs> the Tom like it show. <laughs> Five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Davon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Pretty good, Davon. Hey, boss man. I have I have a weird, weird like coincidence. Uh, I know you were uh, actually having uh, talks about the club bounce. <laughs> yes. I a, yeah, I had a friend that actually went to the club. Now, me not knowing what the club was or what it was about. Hearing you talk about it like all through the week, I was just like, this is a crazy ass club to go to. So I called my boy and I asked him, hey man, what did you do last night? He was like, oh man, I went to this club. I was like, oh, what was the club called? He was like, Club Bounce. And I was like, Club Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Club Bounce. I was like, I was like, I played so stupid, Tom. I was like, man, I bet you the girls were beautiful. <laughs> He gave me such a silence. I was like, oh, I was like, only if you knew. I was like, man, I was listening to Tom Likas. He was like, even the DJ called Tom and was talking crap, man. But yeah, another guy came in. Like, it was, it was, it was just funny, Tom. My boy, he was, he was like so ashamed of himself, man. It was funny. By man. the way, on our website, blowmeuptom.com, right now we have a video section. Uh -huh. You could see the video that that DJ made that you heard on the show last week talking about Club Bounce. Yeah. And then you can also, <laughs> this is so funny, <laughs> they apparently had a bouncing boobies contest, and one of our listeners apparently snuck a, a cell phone oh camera in there and posted <laughs> the video of these two women jumping up and down. You anything for me? You're good, boss. That is crazy, Tom. Yeah, I know. That is crazy. That is crazy. I just, man, I just, when, I heard him, when I heard he went to that club, man, I just had to give you a call. It was like, that is just the funniest thing on earth, man. I was, I've was, i been clowning them all week, man. <laughs> I still, I'm going to get Dino in if I have to dress him as, you know, a police officer. I'm going to get him in. I'm getting okay, him in. Tom, I ain't going to take too much of your time, though, man. Can you take me out Kobe style, man? Of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Jamie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great. Great. I was calling you. I am a long time listener, first time caller. So I just wanted to call you today and ask you about what you think about um long time listener, first time caller. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think about dating in the workplace? I think it's a very bad idea. Why? Because uh I love to put it this way. If you don't care about your job, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. But what happens if you bang somebody in the office and then it doesn't work out? Yeah, I, I and you got to see that. them all the time. But see, where I work, like we can we can rotate to different places, so we don't have to see each other. But like, I think I'm in love. And let me guess, this guy is probably married. No, he's not married. We're oh, young. We're too young to get married. That doesn't stop a lot of people, apparently. No, well, uh, I'm only 22. I'll be 23 next month, and then he's 21. So. We're too young to yeah, I, by the way, my, my recommendation for guys is not to do that at all because uh, anytime you do that, that's the next lawsuit that could happen. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't think he's like that, but 
I mean, I just wanted to call you and get your opinion on that. I didn't really want too much of anything. I just wanted to tell you that I love your show. I, I, I listen to you all the time. And love that. I actually got my boyfriend listening to you. Um, I think you corrupted him. but Your boyfriend or the guy at the office? That's my boyfriend, but it's the guy at the office. Oh, he's already your boyfriend? Yeah. I just, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, listen to you. How come you haven't ridden him like a pony already? Oh, I have. Oh, you have? But, but, <laughs> I thought you were asking. Mom is listening, so. So you, you know, waited until yeah. after you did it to call and ask my advice on that? <laughs> yeah. But, you, know, I, you know, I just waited too long. My bad. How is it? Great. Yeah? It's, it's great. He gets Love the it. job done? Yeah. Most definitely. Listen to you. <laughs> You're ready right now. You're silly. You love it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I just want to call you and tell you that. I want to get your opinion or whatever. Um, he's been trying to call and try to, you know, talk to you or whatever, but Dino won't let him in. So. Well, Dino won't let him in, huh? No, Dino won't. But I think because Dino heard him talking in the background and he was just like, who's that kid? Tell him to go in the other room. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, there's too much noise in the background. Dean just hangs up on people. He's not going to, he doesn't have time. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I hope he didn't hang up because I told him to hold on. I was like, hold on or whatever. Let me tell him to shut up. But... <laughs> That's right. Shut up. Yeah. All right, Jamie, thank you for that. Good luck. Can you, can you blow me up, uh, Lacey Peterson style? Lacey Peterson style. How tasteless would that be? I love hearing girls call up requesting Lacey Peterson style. There's something about that. You know, I, I think that turns me on because, ladies, that, that means you've got the same sick, perverted mind the rest of us do. And I'm pitching a tent just thinking about it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? I'm doing good. How are you? Do you care? Damn right I care. Doing great. Uh, I just, you know, I'm a young guy. Just thought you'd be pretty proud of me. Um, this girl been texting me all day and night, calling me all day and night, flirting with me, wanted me to come over. So I went over her house a couple times. Third time went over there, still didn't get me. Straight to cut her off, have not texted her, have not called her back. She's been leaving messages on my phone, crying, saying, you know, what's wrong, what's wrong. Straight, I was like, Tom would be proud, thought I'd call uh, now, let me ask you a question. Why do you even get into the texting thing with these chicks? What's the deal? Well, you know, I had time to kill. I was a little bored. Nah, you not? know what? Do that with your buddies. Do it yeah. with uh, a tech support at your favorite PC yeah, company. Yeah. But, don't, you know, when you send these chicks texts, you're paying attention to them. They are attention whores. I know, I know, I know. You don't want to be giving them what they want. You're too busy to be texting. Exactly. Your text should be simple. Are you up? I'm coming over. Those are your texts. That's right. None of this, uh, you know, killing time by typing stuff yeah, to people. Yeah, yeah. Well, by the way, I realized uh, it wasn't paying off. Cut it off, left, never talked to her again. Yeah. Let me ask you another question, just yeah. out of curiosity. This is not text messaging. It's uh, IMs, instant messages. Have you ever had so many of those boxes on the screen that you type a response to one person and then you copy and paste it to the other 11 boxes on the screen? Oh, yeah. You gotta check before you say anything about anybody else. I was check, double check, because it always happens like that. You thinking about somebody and you're writing about somebody, and you accidentally send it to that somebody. You get in big trouble. Many times I have found myself typing a message to somebody, uh -huh. but on AOL, if you're typing, yeah, and somebody else sends an instant message while you're typing, that box appears in front of the other box, and suddenly you're sending that message to the next person who wrote to you. Yeah, that'll get you in big trouble. Oh yeah. You really have to watch before you hit the enter button there because uh, exactly you don't know what's going to happen. Uh huh. But yes, uh, the, the 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 best trick. It's like learning how to spin plates. You keep them all spinning. Uh -huh. When you get, you want to get all twelve conversations to the same point in the conversation. Oh, exactly. Like you want to get to what are you wearing? Uh huh. Everybody kind of there at the same time. Yeah, you know what? Then, then you can just simply because the dialogue pretty much follows a pattern. Uh, so there's nothing I like more than having twelve people out there 
you know, with their crotches aimed at the uh, monitor, <laughs> all thinking I'm paying exclusive attention to them. Yeah. That's when in reality, show. I'm watching, you know, like India MTV or something like that. <laughs> You know, MTV from Vietnam or whatever, because I got the satellite dish. Yeah. And I get all 12 of these girls, mmm, you know, typing, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, just, I just love tricking these chicks into thinking they're getting all my attention. Yeah. But the reality is there's 12 women all chatting with me at the same time. That's why you're the man. That's right. All right talk. I don't even know who I'm talking tribal to half the time. Huh? You can me out tribal style? African tribal style. Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is her telephone number. I'm looking at line four there, Art. That one I think is going to be the next call. What do you think? I think, you're right. think so. Yeah. Victoria, hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, darling? My name is Victoria. I said, was the first line a question or a statement? What? What? What statement? By the way, I said you're Victoria. Who said you're Victoria? No, I didn't say I'm Victoria. I said you're Victoria. I know. I don't think you're so sure. Uh, can I help you, dear? Yes, I want to talk to you. When is that going to begin? Should I make an appointment? Yes. Right, when would you like to do this? Today. What time? Right now. Let me put it in my book. No, no. Give me like 15 minutes, actually. 15 minutes? Yeah. I don't have 15 minutes. How many more minutes do you have? About eight. Eight minutes? Okay, give me five minutes. Talk fast. Talk fast? Yes. Okay. Am I supposed to be talking? <laughs> I, I have it in my book. You have an appointment with you right now. Yeah. Says uh, 650. Mm-hmm. Mindless, aimless diatribes with Victoria. It's in my book. Mm-hmm. So, wait, what? I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> well, talk about something. You called me, dear. What made you call me? Are we smoking weed today, darling? What are we doing over there? No, you need to shut up, okay, fatso? Woo! You're getting me pissed off. I'm just over here trying to start conversation. Is that so, darling? Yes, and you're over here making me mad, son. What are you, 12 years old, dear? No. How could you even say that? All right, 10. No, I'm 35. Yeah, you're 35. What year were you born? Why? That's none of your business. Yeah, <laughs> you just said you're 35. Yeah, I'm Quick, 35. tell me the year you were born. What? <laughs> you heard what I said. No, I didn't. <laughs> How are you and all the girls in fourth grade doing over there? You having a good time? Just please, please be quiet because, you know what? I'm just trying to make a good impression on you and you over here being mean. Oh, you're making a great impression on me. Mm-hmm. You and I hear the girls giggling in the background. There's no girls giggling in the background. I hear them. No, you don't hear nothing. <laughs> you don't hear nothing. I hear it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I'm on the radio. What? Yeah, hello. Yes. You know what? Can you just can you just give a shout out to my friend Alexandria? No, I can't. Why? You can't let that on. She stutter stepped the uh, the F word there. She kind of slid it past. But you see, I've played every crank call trick in the book, girls. You can't just uh, slide one past us here. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Write me. The Tom Likas Show.